Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here. So today, for my anime and manga discussion video, we're going to be talking about a discussion video about physical manga versus digital manga. And so the question is, if you are a manga collector, and if you have a nice collection of your manga collection from your of your favorite manga titles, it doesn't matter if it's either an omnibus volume or probably one of those, like, those ran number on the volume ones, or those three-in-one editions, or the two-in-one edition kind, or if you have the manga box set with all complete volumes in it, it doesn't matter if, which mangas you have, if it's either English translated manga books, as well as Japanese language translated manga books that you got from Japan, which you find at your libraries, and if, or if you're into... And if your manga collection has a lack of shelf space due to... You might as well stick with doing some digital manga books. As, like, for example, if you want to read a manga online, try, for example, like those website ones. Say, for example, Crunchyroll Manga. It has a wider selection of manga titles that you have... that you might check out because Crunchyroll's awesome. That's like how you want to pick a manga title, what are your favorite to, to begin with, on how you want to read a manga on Crunchyroll Manga as well. And also, if you want to read other manga titles from like, especially the Shonen Jump titles, like say for example, Dragon Ball Z, My Hero Academia, One Punch Man, My Hero Academia, Assassination Classroom, stuff like that. Oh yeah, One Piece, forgot to mention. Check out the there's also the Shonen Jump app on there if you want to read your favorite manga titles from Shonen Jump as well. Because if you're into manga titles that are from Shonen Jump, say for example, Fist of the North Star, Dragon Ball C, One Piece, My Hero Academia, Death no One Punch Man, um, one, yeah, stuff like that. Oh yeah, Assassination Classroom, forgot to mention. Oh yeah, and Shaman King or Prince of Tanis or... Siren or anything for, that are part of the titles, manga titles that are from Shonen Jump as well. You may, if you have the those app, the Shonen Jump, if you have it on your tablet or or your phone or your iPad or your any other type of electronics, depends on which manga you want to read. If if your power goes out uh, when you're reading like a manga on your tablet. You may read it until your battery dies, or if you have a portable charger, you may charge your tablet, or if there's or if something wrong with the internet server, or your internet not connected when you're reading a manga online, which is on your tablet or your phone, you're feel free to read your favorite physical copy of your favorite manga title from your manga collection. Let's say, for example, if you're owning a fit, like I own a physical copy of Yu Yu Hakusho, which is the first volume I have right here, my I picked for my manga collection. It's probably about 199 pages. Let's see, which I'll show you. Say so if you, so this is how you want to read a manga like this. Prop, particularly, this is probably owning a physical copy. And it feels like the weight of how it feels like a book. For some reason, if you want to read a manga digitally, you may want to read Yu Yu Hakusho on the Shonen Jump app if it's on there. It's, if it's if you have the Shonen Jump reading manga app on your your phones, like especially some electronics. Say for example, your phone from Samsung or Apple or your tablet from Samsung or iPad or iPad Pro or iPad Air, any of your electronics, it depends on what you think. That's how... Oh, and also, if you want to read a manga on kin on your Kindle, you may want to go to Amazon Kindle if you want to get your favorite manga title on Amazon Kindle. If you have a Kindle, that's one. Even though I do not have an Amazon Kindle, because I've been owning over 186 manga books in my manga collection because I have started to own a physical copy of your fa of for what are my favorite manga books that I have from my manga collection. Let's say, for example, 
Let's go to the older manga books that I picked from my manga collection. Let's say, for example, when it comes to physical owning a physical copy of your manga book from your manga collection. Let's say, for example, my Fist of the North Star manga. This is basically like a size like a graphic novel, no? Because this is put out by Viz, because it's back in the 1998. Because it has over 172 pages on there. Yep. Which I'll show you on there. That's how it feels like you're reading a manga like this kind, like that's how you own a physical copy. Well, there's most mangas that I got from my manga collection, like my Fist of the North. I only have a couple of Fist of the North Star mangas. I have the comic book format manga of the original Fist of the North Star manga. I know there's most mangas of Fist of the North Star, like the ones in box sets that are all just, just translated in Japanese, as well as there's other Italian edition mangas, which is under the title as Ken Il Guerriero, which you can find them in Italy if you're a manga collector. Oh yeah, this is probably... I'll show you what the manga of the original Fist of the North Star manga that I have from 1989, which I'll show you what they look like. Yep, this is basically more like a comic book format on the original Fist of the North Star manga, just because the manga is all black and white and such. For no apparent reason, this is what I have. These are the. This is the only manga, the only Fist of the North Star manga from 1989 in comic format, which Viz has put out back in the late 80s and early 90s. As well as there's other one, manga ones like Ursei Yatsura. There's other ones like Space Adventure Cobra mangas that are put out by Viz back in the late 80s and early 90s when it's part of the so-called Viz Select comics. But, but they were part, part in, back in the older day, back in the, the older editions of your favorite manga books. Let's say, for example, I have what I have from my manga collection of owning a physical copy of your favorite manga. Let's say my Urusei Yatsura manga. This is under the title as The Return of Lum Urusei Yatsura. There's another edition of Urusei Yatsura, the old one, which is from the 90s. All. It's like an omnibus format and all. Which I'll show you the pages of the Urusei Yatsura mangas look like. This is the older edition. I need to get the newer ones that Viz has put out, which is like an om omnibus format and all. You know what I'm talking about. Because this is probably... The, the only Urusei Yatsura manga I have, which is, well, sorry about the camera, guys. I'll just use it for example anyways. So this is what you own a physical physical copy of your favorite manga title. When, it, when if you're a manga collector, in general, that's why. And also, if you want to read mangas on Shonen Jump, let's say for example, under the titles as in the word ones on it. Say for example, I have a copy of the of volume four of One Punch Man. This is the only copy I have that I got at the library back a couple years back, back in 2017. This is probably like the weight of how the manga is. I mean, if you compare my One Punch Man manga to Urusei Yatsura manga, this one is not as <laughs> this tall like this, but the Urusei Yatsura manga is like this size and all. Which I'm showing you for comparison. This is what you own, what you call a physical copy of your favorite manga title. And also, you want to read One Punch Man on Shonen Jump app reading thing as well. And also, for the longest running series, if you have a, if you're paced when you're reading a manga title, if you're feeling tired or when you're reading a manga on your app or your t like, which is probably on your tablet or your phone or your iPod or an iPod like your iPod Touch or your iPad or anything. Let's let's say, for example, on those longest-running title manga titles, like One Piece, for example, this is the only manga I have, which is the third volume I have. If you want to read... This is the only physical manga copy because One Piece has over 90 volumes on there. 
because it encapsulates over 90 volumes of how it feels with how you want to read a physical copy. If it's either a three in or three in one edition, or if you have a manga box set of One Piece, which has all the volumes in it, which you'll be perfect if you're a manga collector, which is something what is called owning a physical copy of your favorite manga title in general, I guess. Same with the two-in-one edition. Say, for example, the Ranma Half manga books. I have only in volumes of manga Ranma Half. There's also the two-in-one editions of Ranma Half, as well as I only have one cop volume of Urusei Yatsura. I know there, they, Viz has put out three volumes of them. I might as well pick them up because this is what you call owning a physical copy a physical copy of your favorite manga title as well. In any other case, that's probably you own a physical copy. Let's say, for example, I own the ninth volume of Oran High School Host Club. This is what you call a physical copy of your owning a, a manga title, unless you want to read them on one of those, like reading manga online as well. That's fine. If you're but for, I may re bo read both mangas online or as well as owning a manga book from my manga collection because I have some manga standards. That's my opinion as well. And so the question is, that's how I own a physical manga. Let's say, I'm going to use for example, my Urusei Yatsura manga. This is a physical copy I have. It's probably one of the, the uh, one of the original editions of Urusei Yatsura manga, because I know that Viz has put out the newer vault editions of the manga Urusei Yatsura. That's why. Anywho, so let's get back. Okay, if you're if you're if you're reading a manga on your tablet or your phone, and there's your internet and your internet connections and the server is not is not working at all. Or your internet connection's not disconnected, not connected, or your phone battery dies. You're feel free to read a manga book from your manga collection, which is your physical copy of your favorite manga title from your manga collection. I guess this is what you call owning a physical copy of owning a your favorite manga title from your manga collection. Which, when it comes to owning a physical copy from your manga collection as a manga collector, I guess. The, so that's the, the thing about owning a physical copy of your favorite manga collection and reading a manga digitally for free on your tablet or your phone in general because this is my discussion about the, the differences between owning a physical copy of your manga favorite manga title, special manga title under the physical co copy or and the difference uh, with reading a manga, favorite manga title on digitally for free on your phone or your tablet as well. So that's because I have standards, and that's because I own a, over 183 titles of manga books. That's probably called a physical meat copy I own, which means of how the feels like a book. For example. My Urusei Yatsura manga, it's not even that thick, like my, it's not even thicker and all. It's probably like almost th regular like this. It's not even thin or anything. It's just how, it, like that. So basically, this is what you own, how it feels like you own a lightweight book as well. So that's going to be it for my discussion video. Thank you for watching on my physical manga versus digital manga discussion video. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. Share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have a Twitter and Facebook account. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button on this video. Please leave in the comment section below about your thoughts on physical manga and digital manga in the comment section below in this video. Please subscribe to my channel, Ruroni K95. Feel free to join my channel. Click on my notifications bell button. Check out my other previous videos that I uploaded as well. And keep it otaku for this discussion video. And that's all I have to say. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my discussion video. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you soon for the next video. And hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. And thank you for watching my discussion video for today's discussion.